Oh, I forgot you're supposed to cut the wings. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take you all along with me as I butcher quail for the first time. So we have several quail that are uh, ready for butchering. Um, if you've been following us very long, you know we got quail uh, seven weeks ago. Put an I card up there for that if you'd like to check that out. Um, that was our first time getting quail. We got them when they were one day old and they were so tiny we couldn't believe it. So it is now time to butcher so if you've been with us for a few weeks, you know that we got a bunch of quail from Dutch as well. So I'm going to kind of go through and I'm going to butcher a few from Dutch and um, several for, of ours and just kind of weed some out so that I can put those flocks together. <music> since they were a day old and they're now seven weeks. There's some in here that are very beautiful. And so I'm gonna be keeping them for sure. But you can see on the back of that one right there, they're starting to kind of fight and peck at each other. Um, that's why it's time for um, just separating and harvesting. But I'm gonna look through and get those out that I uh, are wanting to keep. Um, I don't know a whole lot about quail, but there's just some when I look in here, they just catch my eye and they're just beautiful. So I'm gonna be getting them out to keep uh, for laying eggs or keep as our roosters. And then the rest will be uh, butchering. So several of you had told us that quail like dust baths. So Ranger and I have been going through these quail and getting different ones out. And I got this nesting box and decided to put some dirt in it and kind of see what happens and they are loving it so i don't know if this is exactly how you do it but this is what we had and it seems to be working and i can just put some more dirt in it every day i guess all right well that took a little bit of time but i got um, them situated and separated i uh, got some in here over here uh in the hutch that dutch gave us and then i have some still in here in the um, our hutch with the ones that we got when they were a day old. So I will show you the ones that we're going to butcher. So these are the ones we're going to butcher. Um, most of them have some type of 
uh, injury or some of them are just extra roosters that we did not need. So we'll get started with the butchering process. All right, I got my setup here, my little helper. So uh, like I said, I've never done this before, but my plan is um, I'm gonna use the scissors and cut their heads off. And then I'm gonna let it drain down here in this bucket. Then I'm going to uh, start processing them and I'm gonna put all the guts and stuff in this container. Um, once I get all the feathers off, I'm gonna dip them over here to uh, clean them the best I can. And then I'm gonna put them in this water until I can get them in the house for the final step. So, we ready, Ransom? I'm gonna help. You're gonna help? All right, so like I said, I've watched several videos on how to do this and asked people. Um, the kids always know they don't have to come out and help. Uh, Ranger and Mazzy kind of helped me gather some up, but they have chose to go back in the house. Ransom's up for anything, right, bub? All right, so uh, first thing I'm gonna do is cut their heads off. Yeah, you right, Mom? Okay, now that we got the uh, head cut off, you'll just go right here at the knees and cut the legs. I see, I see the legs. Yeah. So you're going to grab right here at the top of their breast and just kind of pull and it comes open. And it just kind of, the skin just starts coming right off and you just pull that skin off all the way around. You can have a picnic. Oh, I forgot you're supposed to cut the wings. So I just remembered you're supposed to cut the wings. That way you can pull the skin off. So if I wanted to, I could edit all that out. But I want you guys to learn from my mistakes, like I said. So cut that wing. I knew I was forgetting something. Cut this wing. Now we'll go back to taking the skin and all the feathers off. Without those wings on there, it, just, it comes off way better. So this being my very first one, I'm just taking it nice and slow and uh, kind of learning what, what does best, which way goes best. Okay, now we'll go around the legs, kind of pull the legs through. And then once you break that, those legs just pull right on through. So you're pretty much just skinning it out. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off here. So the videos I watched, it said it will be a little bit tougher once you get around their backbone uh, to get that to all come off. It's attached a little bit better than on their breast and belly. So this one, um, I decided to do it because it had, uh, something had been getting out its back and you can see it didn't really uh, pull off and it's got those, it's got like an injury right here. So once the quail reach maturity, they kind of just start eating at each other. Really, they start pecking and fighting and so they start getting injured. Um, and so that's one reason why I chose to uh, butcher now rather than later at seven weeks is because um, they were just fighting each other and that's not good. Okay, so now you're gonna, I'm gonna take the scissors and I'm gonna cut right alongside their, uh, his backbone. So just cut right along the side of it and that uh, backbone just comes right up and all the uh, guts kind of start coming out with it. So you just kind of pull and clean at the same time. Wash it off over here in this bucket. Okay, so I've done a few and I've definitely learned with each bird 
um, kind of how to make the process go faster. I'm still having a little bit of trouble with um, the feathers kind of sticking all over it. Um, maybe that's just a rookie thing or I'm not real sure. But I'm going to show you one more time how I do this. Um, since in the previous ones, I've kind of messed up from time to time. And uh, then we'll wrap this video up. So I'm going to go ahead, use the scissors to cut his head off. Okay, so I did that. Now I just have him upside down in this bucket, uh, letting him bleed out for a second. And like I think I've already said, I'm not showing everything up close and personal because I know not everybody wants to see that. Um, there's lots of videos out there if you want to see step-by-step -step up close and personal how to do this. I watched several before I um, before I even started. So there's lots of good videos out there if you want to see that. I will be telling you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. And um, I'll kind of, I'll show you. But just like I said, not real up close and personal, step by step, just because I know some of some people just don't want to see that. Okay, so like I didn't do on the first one, next thing you do after they drain a little bit is cut their wings off. One. Two. Then you want to turn them over and uh, cut their legs right at the joint. Then you want to take the bird and uh, right at the neck, you want to tear. And um, I have definitely been able to tell a difference in our young uh, tender birds and Dutch's older birds. Um, nothing against Dutch, just uh, with anything, when um, something is young and tender, it um, is just um, better eating and better to skin and all those things. As they grow and get older, they just get tougher and um, they're just not as good. Uh, we do a lot of deer hunting and uh, I know everybody loves big bucks, big horns. Um, but honestly, the ones that taste the best are those younger uh, deer. And so same with quail, I can already tell is um, these young ones, they just skin out so much easier and um, are, I think, going to be more tender meat. So as you can tell, I got it off the breast. I pulled those legs right through. Uh, because I cut the wings off, I can just keep going with it. I don't have to worry about those wings. Um, as you get to the back, you ha you do have to work at it a little harder. The breast comes off real easily. Um, it's not that it's hard. You just have to apply more force. And uh, with the first ones, I wasn't doing that. And it was a little more difficult for me. And then always right here, when you get between these legs, um, it doesn't really want to come off. Not real sure why, but I saw that in videos I watched as well. And uh, you have to really get under that skin and, and pull it off. It will come off though. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got like feathers left. If I get it in the right spot, it will come off. Some of them are harder than others. I was just bragging about these younger tender ones, how much easier they are to skin, but this one's not wanting to work with me. Also, on these younger ones, the feathers seem to be easier to keep under control from, from getting on your meat. Um, I'm not cleaning these uh, squeaky clean, but I'm getting them the best I can. And um, after I get this off the back, I will finish it out. And then um, I will put it in this water and then put it in the clean water. I don't, I, the less mess I have to take in the house when it comes time to freeze them, the better. Okay, then when you get down here uh, to the bottom, just kind of pull all this back. I just take my scissors and I just cut right here and that just cuts that out. Then from the front side with the neck facing you, you take your scissors and you cut right along, which I keep forgetting. I cut that part out anyway where it's hard to get off, so I need to quit worrying about it so much. Um, you take these scissors and you just cut right along their backbone. Do that side, then you do the other side. And I'm going to be investing in some better scissors uh, for the next time I do this.
Then once you get that backbone cut on each side, you just let gravity kind of do its thing and it just, um, all the insides just kind of pull out. So you do want to make sure you get these lungs out. There's one on each side. You, you'll be able to tell they're kind of brighter and foamy kind of looking. You want to make sure you get those out with your thumbs on both sides. Um, do a little final look. One video I watched said that they don't peel all the fat off because that helps with the flavor. So I've been leaving it as well. Just making sure I didn't leave anything big behind. Once it looks pretty good, I dip it in this water to clean the feathers and most of the blood off. And then I put it over in this water for uh, to wait before we go in. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, um, I'm no expert. First time I've ever done this. Um, it's fairly easy. Um, there just is, you need to know the process and the method of what to do. Uh, take your time. L learn as you go. Don't be afraid to watch some videos if you need to. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching our journey. Uh, we're having a lot of fun with this. We hope you guys continue to enjoy our channel and our videos. Uh, we don't do stuff like this all the time, but when we do, we want to show you so that maybe you can learn from us as we learn from you. As always, have a great day and God bless.